Hi guys and welcome to another course here at Guitar Weekends. And this course is all about getting creative with chords. It's going to be split into two parts and part one is going to be all about the theory. So we're going to be demystifying what all those chord names mean. For instance, have you heard of an augmented major seventh? Do you know what a major ninth is? Do you know what a D9 is? Do you know what D7 sus4 is? Do you know what add nines are? Well, if you don't, or you want to know more about them, then this is going to be the perfect kind of introduction to that material. So in part one, as we said, we're going to demystify the chord names. We're going to show you a really kind of cool way of understanding how you build those chords, what chord turns we use, what notes are in them, and how you can put those into practice. We'll be giving you links to songs that you can listen to, either on YouTube or Spotify, whichever you'd like, where you can hear those chords in action. We'll be giving you multiple ways of playing each of the chords that we're discussing at the end of each section. We'll actually give you a, a piece that you can play from a song that you'll know so that you can actually start utilizing the knowledge that you've learned. At the end of part one, we'll start putting it into practice properly where we'll be taking a standard 12 bar blues, which I'm sure you can all play, and we'll do it at three different levels with the final level being quite advanced but not necessarily hard to play. But before this lesson, you might have kind of said, well, I don't really know what those chord names mean. But once you put them into practice, you'll be like, wow, this sounds fantastic. And you can really take your playing to the next level. Part two will be a couple of weeks later, so you can have plenty of time to go over all the material we give you in part one. So in part two, we'll be taking a single line melody and showing you how you can arrange your own guitar parts underneath that using different chord shapes, different types of styles. Uh, maybe you could substitute one chord for another. Well, which ones do we use? Which ones are we allow to use? We'll be going over all of that. And I'll also be showing you two uh, great arrangements that we used to play when we were touring around the world with different artists for two very famous songs. We're not going to tell you what those are yet. We're going to keep that back. Overall, though, we think you're really going to enjoy it and you're going to be getting almost 40 pages worth of material that you can practice uh, across the next year at the speed that's right for you. So obviously you'll be getting all the usual materials such as the lesson PDFs, the, the two online Zoom lessons, make sure you sign up if you want to be part of those because you don't want to miss them. You need to get the code sent out in plenty of time. Uh, you'll also be getting uh, the backing tracks uh, for the blues as well as uh, being able to have the full videos you can watch uh, so you can play along and make sure that you're just getting your fingerings right because of course the online lesson is a lesson you may not remember absolutely everything and if you have those HD videos you'll be able to look at hand technique and make sure it's just right so we hope you're going to join us for what we think is going to be a really interesting and informative course here at Guitar Weekends get creative with chords <laughs>